Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setups for today. So, pretty big move yesterday to the downside, which just followed through from the day before. Uh, we have broken through this 39.325, which is a a double top um, setup. That obviously I'd want to come back and reject that area before looking at it. Take that with a pinch of salt because look at the oscillators at the moment. So they have moved to the downside, they have separated slightly, and they are starting to roll. We do have an inside bar here, and then the next thing that you need to be very, very cautious of is, um, we were talking about this for quite some time, but this is a very strong area of support that we are bouncing off at the moment at 39.083. And uh, yeah, I can draw all these little levels in between here, but all the way down, to 38844 that is a strong area of support so we're in an uptrend there's no debates about that there's your uptrend there and you can see how that diagonal support ties up with this as well uh, we do have diversions forming from this previous swing low there's my oscillators high my oscillators are low prices low prices high so that is bullish diversions we are in an uptrend, so I take it with a huge pinch of salt. Moving through the time frames, if you look at the three hour, we oscillators are grouped to the downside. Granted, we are below the moving averages, but as I've said, I'd want to see a retest of the 150, and that would be a retest of this 39.325. If we start rejecting there, then I would be considering a short, but um, still should be favoring move to the upside the trend is still to the upside now if we drop down to the hours this is kind of where we need to be paying very close attention so we broke through 39325 fairly easily and followed through oscillators are just hovering down the downside here no indication of diversions or anything like that for the bulls and then there is this zone uh, sorry, let's just get, there we go so there's a zone here which was on the 20th of March which we are above and below at the moment so this is a very very strong area of support and I'd be very reluctant to just jump in short in this area you're gonna get burnt now, the trend is down. There's no two ways about that. You look at this on the 50 minute. For as long as it stays below the 150 EMA, it is down. So, big question here is, are we looking for a break? I just want to get rid of the diagonal. So, you can see if we do break 39.083, your next logical target is going to be 38.844. So, that's suppose is what you need to be paying attention to. Um, I'm just not entirely convinced. There's too much support here to the left. And you can see even dropping, let's just put this pin bar in because that's going to come into play. Even dropping below the support where we are at the moment, there's multiple areas below you for the buyers to come in. So, yeah, I think for me, pay attention to what happens at 39.325. Let's get to the 15 minute. If we do reject that area, then I'd want to see pin bars, inside bars, engulfing bars on that. And there's definitely going to be an opportunity here around 40, 50 point stop loss for a move all the way down, which would be another 100 points. So it'll be a 2 to 1 trade. So there's definitely merit for that. Uh, I don't want to be jumping in short at this level. If uh, we do not pull back to come and test 39.325, then I'd want to see a break through the support and retest before looking for a short and be targeting 38.844. So yeah, wait and see, be cautious, and don't just jump in for the sake of jumping in. It will burn you. Hope that helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.